What's really good? We back with the boxing clink and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. And shout out to you know, my boy BT at True School Sports. I'm gonna link his video in the description. Y'all go over there and show him some love. Um, I'm talking about why it's necessary to call certain boxers paper champions. And I think a guy over there at Brooklyn Boxing Talk, um, he said his name in the video, said it was disrespectful to call uh, certain fighters, uh, you know, paper champions. You know, um, shit. It's necessary to me. I had to agree with the, with the homie there. I mean, I mean, it's, it only can be one real champion in the division. Let's keep it real. That's how it used to be in the old days, you know. But let's say let's say you have an Earl Spence, Keith Thurman type of situation. All right, neither one of them is paper champions. They both, you know, they both, you know, most people, most real hardcore Pierce fans look at them as the top of the welterweight division. So pretty much so they fight, you know, pretty much people see them close enough to be equals. I understand that. That's not a paper champion. But if you got a situation like Adrian Broner, where he's moving up, fighting guys at one what one thirty, one thirty, you know, and fighting a guy like I forgot the Rodriguez guy he fought for his first title, you know, a guy that nobody knew knew about, you know, he beats him, and people start calling him a champion, you know, he he beat a guy that had a belt. That's he's not a, a real champion. That's a paper title, you know. In my opinion, in my opinion, that's paper champ. Nobody identifies him as, as the elite fighter at that 135 pound weight class at the time. You know, he didn't beat the guy or one, even the other guy. He he just beat a guy, you know, for a title. Um, <clears throat> you you could look at you know when he moved up and fought fought Paul Montanaji. He didn't beat the best welterweight. He beat a welterweight that just happened to have a title. You know, um, you can go you can go through that again and again and again in the division. You know, when guys just move up and beat a guy that has a title. And then, you know, they said that division and they move up out that division, but they never fought the best guy at that division. Not necessarily you didn't have to be the lineal champion at the division, but you just beat a guy that had a title and he wasn't seen as the elite of the, comp of the division. And like BT said, he said that, you know, then you fooling casual fans, you know, fans like, oh, he, you know, he, he was a three time world champion, three different weight classes. And boxing fans like, no, he was a, he had a title, but he wasn't the best. And most people associate a champion with being the best in the weight class and in the weight in the division. You know, but that's not always the case. You know, that's not always the case. You know what I'm saying? Like Lucas Matisse, you know, perfect example. Beating Kyrum, you know, for a regular WBA title. Now, people say, oh, yeah, the WBA title, that's a good title. No, no, no. Keith Thurman is the real super WBA title. You know, Matisse is just like the mandatory, like the WBC Diamond Champion in waiting. You know, waiting, like an interim title. You know, that's not a real world championship. You know what I'm saying? So, it's plenty of paper titles going around. I mean, you got the IBO, the IBF, the WBA, the Super WBA, the WBC Diamond, the regular WBC, the regular, you know, WBO Championship. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's a lot of watered down. And, and you know, to call some of these guys champions, I believe that's disrespectful to the real champion. Especially when you got people that hold titles, like I was just alluding to, that don't even want to fight the real champion. They just stop in there, compete in there. And then when it's time, people get the rumble and want to see, you know, you fight the real guy in the division. And the real guy in the division, that's the real champion in the division, start calling you out to 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 kind of decipher you from the rest of the BS that's going around. Then that guy want to move up. Well, he don't want no smoke. He don't want no free smoke. He want to move up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> that's like Joseph Parker. He's not a real champion in the heavyweight division, man. He's just a guy that got a vacant belt because of fight Tyson Fury and same as Deontay Wilder. They're not real champions. You know, I can respect Anthony Joshua because he did beat the guy that was the guy, even though the guy that beat the guy, you know, you know, <laughs> the guy that beat the guy, you know, was cheating in Tyson Fury who beat Vladimir Klitschko. So, you know, in my opinion, that didn't count. So then Joshua comes back and beat Vladimir Klitschko, even though Vladimir Klitschko was 41 years old, whatever it may be. He did beat a legend. And he did rightfully beat the real champion because the guy who beat the real champion was caught cheating and should have been banned. Even though people say, well, he was clean in that fight. And at the end of the day, he was suspended. He cheated before that. He should have been stripped before that title fight. That's how you got to see it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of a lot of people that's looking on the outside in, especially guys that's fans of uh, the USC, and you see all them belts and you're not familiar with boxing, and they say, well, this guy's the champion. You're thinking like, man, okay. And they say this guy the champion. You're like what? Then this guy the champion. Then that's the regular champion. And then that guy champion. Then that guy got the champion with the IBO belt. You look like what the hell is going on here? What is this hot dogish buffoonery here? And now this boxing got to cut that shit out, man. <laughs> you know they got to they got at least get it down to like two belts. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. 
And it's confusing. But, yeah, you know, there ain't no disrespectful calling these guys paper champions. I think it's more disrespectful calling these guys champions who paper champions. You know what I'm saying? For real champions, you know. But, when I, like I said, when you got uh, circumstances like, you know, um, you know, maybe a super middleweight, you got Benavidez and Gilberto Ramirez. You know, they two good champions. And then you got Gross, E. Beck Jr. Hey, them, that's adequate competition right there. Them three is adequate competition. You know what I'm saying? Any of them three can come out on top of that. When you got things that's close enough, that's debatable, and you got guys that's willing to put it on the line, yeah, that's debatable. Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, they close enough, that's debatable. They they both got an argument to be the champion and be up there and both be named champion. I'm cool with that, but when you got a guy like Adrian Broner, you know, and you got a guy like Keith Thurman, that's a regular WA champion, or that, that was elevated to super, you got a guy like Adrian Broner calling himself the real champion. I mean, that, that ain't right in my opinion, you know, and, and that's, that's how I'm looking at it from there. And, um, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what y'all think. We got another special video coming about this as well next. We gonna...